Yo, 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 welcome to Girl Talk. Yo, what up, y'all? Y'all tuning into Girl Talk tonight. Yo, 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 what up, what up? Welcome to Girl Talk. How we feeling out there? How we feeling? I'm here. We having Girl Talk. I made this up in like two hours. I was like, yo, I gotta I gotta do Girl Talk today. I wasn't gonna do it. Um, I thought I would be out later than I was. And I'm like, let me find somebody to come on. Let's talk this talk. Let's talk this girl talk. What's up, what's up, what's up? How we feeling out there? Funniest thing is, right before the show, I spilled juice on my shirt. So that's why I'm like four minutes late. Like being clumsy. Do we have any clumsy people out there besides me? Because it's hard being clumsy. You're always hurting yourself. You're always messing up your shirt. You're always doing something. Like it's very annoying being clumsy. Clumsy people ain't clumsy on purpose. Trust me. We got my girl Eliana coming on. She does tarot card read. I'm going to get my cards read in front of y'all. I'm a little nervous. Um, like most people are when they go get their cards read, but this is girl talk. So I'm like, let me do it with my people. Um, my girl, Eliana, she's going to come on. We're going to have a girl talk. We're going to talk. We're going to talk that talk. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them to join right now. Um, the other day I put out a post about karaoke. I did get some response. I can't wait. December 20th. Um, we're going to do karaoke, have a little fun before Christmas. You know what I mean? Um, and we're going to do it. So if you want to participate and karaoke, it will be live. I will have people coming on at different times. And um, that's what we would do. But right now, we have Girl Talk with my girl, Ella. Let me, um, hey, 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 I see y'all. Hope y'all have y'all cups. Y'all have y'all cups. Girl Talk, Girl Talk. Um, we're waiting for Elle to come on now. Um, I'm happy she's coming on. What's up, what's up? <laughs> What's up? Her. Welcome to Girl Talk, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, how was your weekend? It's Sunday now. My weekend? What was the past weekend? Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. Thanksgiving. It was, how was your, uh, We usually start off with Girl Talk before we even get start talking. Has your 2020 vision changed since 2020 started? Absolutely. Yes. In what ways? Um... I would say in the way that I express myself, I, I had trouble um, maybe like speaking my mind before. Okay. I'm like, you know, um, I guess, you know, saying what I had to say in, in other words, for a lack of better words. But um, as 2020 has progressed, I feel like I've gotten better with my communication. Oh, that's great. That's the first time I heard that about communication, actually. Um, <laughs> from that's me good or that from anyone? Huh? From me or from anyone? Um, most on Girl Talk. Most people talk about, you know, jobs and things like that. But I never heard, you know, expressing yourself, which is great because I feel like um, a, lot of, a lot of times we don't express ourselves, especially to our friends, to our families, to our parents. You just keep, sometimes you just keep it in and you, it bowls up. And then, sometimes, you know? then you explode. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> um, so has I anybody think, out there? 
I think that this year I have definitely learned, not completely, but I've learned a lot more better. Yes, absolutely. What about Um, you? How about me? Um, Has my 2020 vision changed? I'm trying to think what was my 2020 vision. Um, You know, I'm a sad, so I feel like... I I know. (laughs) I feel like most things I do are not planned out. I can't really work off of plans. I can say I maybe I can have long term goals, yeah. um, but for 2020 I was just like, you know, I want to make more money, um, and I want to do things that I want to do, and not things that I do because I have to. So I think 2020, my vision hasn't changed, but the things in my life has changed. Um, you know, losing people. I'm not mistaken. The day of your first girl talk, I think you called me, right? And you asked me. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, yes. That's Eliana good. is my girl. And something in my brain was like, Shanice, you have to call her. We haven't spoken in a while. And I was like, I have to reach out to her. And we had like the best talk ever. Um, and we talked about a lot of things. And we caught up. And we talked about this. We talked about you doing tarot card reading. And, we, and I told you, I was like, yo, I'm going to have you on the show one day. Um, and he was like, all right. And here you are. So yeah. I'm doing what I was going to do. And you do what you're supposed to do. Um, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, make sure you tell a friend to tell I'm a friend. I'm very nervous. I'm very nervous. Do you have a drink? You know, girl talk, we have drinks. Like we. I have one. I have one. And I'm still Take a nervous. sip. <laughs> everybody take a sip with my girl. Tell her to get them. Shake it out. Everybody shake it out. Um, how was your thanksgiving it was good it was good i went to my cousins um it was just it was just four of us okay and her fiance me and my and my boo okay Um, Um, it was just it was just the four of us it was very private very intimate it was nice it was very nice but that's still nice i know they say you know we can't have more than 10 people but Sometimes you don't need 10 people anyways. You just need those people that you love and those good vibes. Absolutely. Um, guys, how was your Thanksgiving out there? Um, I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. I hope everybody ate. Um, I hope everybody was with people that they love. And, you know, I hope everybody yeah, enjoyed this. You know, th- this year was definitely tough for many. Um, personally, I wasn't affected by COVID, but I know a lot of people who were. I know some people who passed away. Um so to be around those that you love, you know, during this time, with, you know, it's the best, it's the best medicine. Um, there's yes. a lot of struggles going on. You know, I don't know about the people that are in the room, but um, a lot of people lost their jobs, you know, lost family members. Yes. Um, so, yeah, to be around love right now is um, very important. Activity, you know. Yes. All yes. Of it's very okay. important to the brain, man. Like to be yeah. around good energy, especially right now. I can't imagine being around people that I don't want to be around, and still having to go through everything that life is throwing at you. And then you go home to like not no peace. Um, I always say like when you go home, that's supposed to be like your peaceful place. Like mm-hmm. I'm home. Like let me kick off my shoes. I'm chilling to right. go home and to be aggravated on a different kind of love not because your kids is home like just because of things is has to be tough for people out there so i am we are girl talk is with you um yeah so what's your favorite food for thanksgiving what's your favorite food to eat um for those of those who are here i don't know who's here but those of you who know me personally um half of my childhood i was raised by a black woman so Okay. I like some soul food. I like, um, you know, collard greens. I like, mm. I don't really like so much mac and cheese, but like I do eat it on Thanksgiving. Uh huh. And it was good. Yeah. It was good this Thanksgiving. Yeah. I don't, I didn't make, yes, I didn't make um, the collard greens. A friend of mine made them at her house. So I asked her to um, give me some. So I brought some over to my cousins. Okay. Cool. I made sweet potato pie. So you cooked it for Thanksgiving? I, yeah, I cooked sweet potato pie. I made potato salad. I made macaroni salad. I made these jalapeno poppers. And then I made the sweet potato pie. Did I mention that already? Yeah, yes, and you cook. And you I cook. cook. I cook. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. How was your potato salad? Mm, I love potato salad, but not for well, everybody. I'm Dominican, so I make it the Spanish way. Like, we add potatoes. I mean, not potatoes. We add carrots. <laughs> so I'm like, since we all I add potatoes. Suppose you, I, I would want you to add potatoes. You mean, did you mean salad? (laughs) 
Um, I, I, I meant to say that we had carrots to our potato salad. Oh, yeah, I think I've had Dominican potato salad. It tastes good to me. Dominicans yeah. don't really make their potato salad cold, right? It's kind of warm. No. Well, when, it, when we first make it, it's warm. But no, we, we put it in the fridge. Oh, OK. My friend, mom, just, my friend, mother, well, she's Puerto Rican. They don't put it in the fridge. It's like warm, but it's good. Okay. I don't know. Uh, well, they got to eat it right away, because if you don't put it in the fridge, it's going to spoil right. it, right? Right, but it's so good. I think it'd be going so fast. It's so good. It's not going to be not, not any Right. Way. It's like gotcha. real fast anyway. Um, gotcha. Everybody, welcome to Girl Talk. I'm on with my girl, Eliana. She's going to be reading my tarot card. Um, kind of nervous about that because you just never know. Um, who out there has gotten their cards read before? Uh, was it something scary? Did you have your spouse with you? Did you have your friend with you? Did you want to be in private because you thought... You know, they were going to say some things that you might not want them to hear. Like, how was that experience for you guys? Let me know. Give me some feedback. I don't know. My screen is going dark. Ugh. Um, So how did you get into tarot card reading, though? Um, Well, my grandmother does this for a living. Um, my okay. father's mother. She. This is how she's pretty much built her empire um, all of her wow. life. Um, so I always felt like I had the gift. Um, but I never told my family or anything. I just like one day I just went to Barnes and Nobles and I picked up the book right. and the cards. Um, and then I just, you know, got into it. I've been doing it for like two years now, not for very long. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, do you feel like anybody can do tarot card reading or is like a special feeling you have to have, or is it something that you can learn by reading a book? I don't want to say that not, not, not everyone can do it because I don't want to discourage anyone. But I think, I think if you put your mind to it, absolutely. If that's something that you want to learn and you want to read it, you have to read it, you have to understand it. Um, right. It's something that you, you, you have to want to do if you want to learn, I would say. Okay. Yeah. Is this something that you, that you get better at? Is it like, you yes. know, the more you do it, the more you maybe understand it or the more... You know, reading the cards and knowing the meanings of what they are, is it something like practice make perfect? Yes. It's just like speaking another language. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't use it, you're going to lose it. Facts. Okay, like, hola. <laughs> right. You got it. Um, everybody, welcome to Girl Talk. We're chilling. How we feeling out there? Give me some feedback. You guys are quiet today. I know it's Sunday. I know we stuck, but we on Girl Talk. I hope you have your drinks. What are you drinking? Um, I'm, I don't know. It's whiskey and some coconut stuff. It, I don't know. It, somebody made it for me. <laughs> it tastes good. Must, awesome. must be nice. It, you know, it tastes like Coquito a little bit. Something like that. Okay. Okay. Coquito was real big for the seasons, right? For like Thanksgiving, Christmas time. That's when people start drinking it. Is Coquito yeah. kind of like an eggnog for people who don't know what Coquito is? I think so. I think so. Kind of like an eggnog, right? Because I feel like people it? only drink eggnog during this season. Like, you don't see people drinking eggnog in the summertime. Right, any other time. Right, now you're right, you're right. So what are you drinking? No honey? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm taking it easy. I had, like, a long weekend, um, and I've been drinking, so I'm drinking goose and a little bit of cranberry. You know, goose, get you loose, loosen up. Um, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So um, back to my tarot cards. Is there anything that you'd like to know? Anything that you want to ask? Like, you know, I don't know, like what's 2021 going to be? Like, is there a specific question that you have? Or do you want me to just tell you what I see? Um, I don't really have no question maybe about, you know, my future with Girl Talk, possibly. Um, okay. Money, you know, people always want to know about that dollar sign. Um. I really don't have nothing to be, you know, exactly what I want, but I just, I just wanted it read. I'm like, I want my cards read. I want to see what's going on. You have read my cards before, so I have had my cards Have I been accurate? My... Yes, I she has been accurate. Okay. Um, I even got the death card a couple of times. And he was like, don't worry, don't worry. That don't mean you're going to die. 2020 came. I'm like, oh, <laughs> That's what, that's what that called. But did you die though? Did you die? I, I'm, I think, I think not. 
Um, so, <laughs> well, that, guys, just, even just with that so card, that. the death card doesn't necessarily mean that someone is going to die. The death card can can also mean that something is ending, or you know, something is ending for something else to begin. So. Yes, the death card uh -huh. doesn't always have to mean dead, and but I think that's what some. Yeah. I think that's what sometimes people be scared of, like yeah. if that card pops up. Because I'm not gonna lie, when that card popped up for me, I'm like, um, should I should I quit my job right now? Because I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if it's about to end, and I ain't no point in paying no bills. Um, everybody, thank you. Welcome to Girl Talk. I'm on, my, I'm on with my girl, Eliana. She's going to read my cards later. We're just having a little girl talk. If there's any questions that you guys want to ask, um, anything that you guys want to say, any questions for her, there's a question box at the bottom. So you can write it there. Or you can write it in the comments, but it's easier for me to see it if you write it in the questions box. Um, funny question. Um, we're going to get to tarot card reading, but I'm going to do it a little towards the end once more people come in and see what you can do and see your skills. Um, I'm just shuffling as we speak. I like to shuffle my cards. I'm saving, saging my cards as well. Okay. Um, Please. Yes, absolutely. Please. I got my, I got my, I got my I energy bad from burning. Absolutely. absolutely. All right. I got my candles. Don't, don't cross your arms. Don't cross your legs. Just, Look, you know. It's not. They're loose. They're loose. Um, I feel like sometimes <laughs> um, friendships, right? Friendships, people talking. Um, friends always, you know, friends, homegirls, family, always yeah. ask for advice. Not ask for advice, but have girl talk. You talk about the different things that's going on in your life. What advice do you think people ask about but never really listen? Money, relationships, or like dating? I mean, money relationships or family things? Which one do you think people listen to least but always ask? Relationships. And why do you think that people ask about relationships but then do, do opposite or just come back and ask you the same question? I would say, much? me speaking from experience, if I ask someone about a question about a relationship was because I know the answer, but I also want other others' opinion. Okay. Um, but you know, I mean, people are gonna do what they're gonna what they're gonna do regardless. Right. But I think that the I, I would say the most questions that I'm asked are about like you know relationships, friendships, things like that. Um, yeah. Aside from the other things. And most times, people know the answer. You feel it. You know yeah. it, and that's why you ask it. I mean, I mean, I would say. 70% of the time, you know the answer within yourself. Uh -huh. You know, other times you might be uncertain, but with, you know, with, give it time. Right. Sometimes yeah. you may be uncertain. Do, do you think it's annoying when somebody asks the same question, though? It's the same do, same question. Do you think sometimes people start to be like, you know what? She's going to do what she want to do. I'm not giving you no more advice. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually had a talk with my friend a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, yo, every time we talk, it's about the same thing. Same problems, same issues. And I was like, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but it's kind of, it seems like it may be over. Like, you know what I mean? Not to discourage anybody, but if you having the same problems, but I'm a, right. I know too much. Let me share but down and, um, you know, take a look at what's going on. Mm -hmm. If you can't focus, maybe write those things down. Um, okay. See what those issues are and see if it's worth, you know. Weigh it out. Right. Absolutely. Is it worth your time? Because time is something that we can't get back. And that's like the main thing that's always on my mind. And, like, and everybody should know that by now, being in 2020. Right. Yes. Yeah. If you didn't know, 2020 should have showed us that yeah. you cannot get time back. Um. So I really don't like to waste my time. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm impatient. Same. And that's something that I wanted to work on. But now I'm like, well, maybe because what things be happening like this. Right. Why wait? Yeah. Um, I still love my ex. What do I do? Well, how, why did you and your ex end? What, what ended the relationship? If you cheated on her, ain't nothing you could do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wait, uh, wait, I'm looking at oh, <laughs> um, 
Um, Sneaky's is saying your name out loud, like, Eliana, she's happy to see you. What up, JL? Thank you for coming on my show. We cooked with JL. Hi, guys. Um, oh, I know JL. I went to high school with her. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, she actually came on the show. Um, she's a vegan, and she showed me how to make vegan lasagna. So oh, we I did, like, a cook I show. I did a vegan once before. Yes. <laughs> he said, I made some mistakes. Um... Well, I guess you got to ask her. It's the holiday season, so maybe she might be a little nicer right now. But how many mistakes you made, bruh? Like, mistakes? Was this over the years or one day you made a mistake? Um, Somebody said love her from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to see you. Eliana's one of those people that you don't see. Like, where is she? She's not a, she's not a big social media girl. Right. I do. I post stuff on Insta. I only have Instagram. I don't have Facebook anymore. Um, I'm shy, and I'm I'm not only shy. I'm also I'm also reserved. I think to myself a lot. Um, I do like people, but I I prefer to be alone. So you're a loner. I'm alone. Yeah. Listen to my thoughts. Gather my thoughts. You know. So being quarantined did not affect you. Loving myself? No, absolutely not. But was it weird this to know? This is my normal. I mean, it's not really my normal because I did used to go out, you know, drinking once in a while to a lounge with my friends. You know, we can't do mm -hmm. that. But yeah, it's definitely right. affected me in that way. But in the sense of being home and stuff like that, I've always been a stay-at-home girl. Right. And I work from home uh, since COVID. Um, since COVID, I uh, we got sent to work from home in February, and we've been home since. I go to the office maybe a few times a week, but not not every week. How is it working from home, knowing that you, knowing like, I think having a choice of being able to go outside and do things, you know what I mean, and just not one two is two different things. Do you like sometimes? I know you're a house person. Do you be like, man, I wish I could go. To the hookah bar, you know what I mean? And you of can't. course. Like, yeah, yeah, I have my days. Um, right, that you that I want to. Yeah. I, think, I think that's the hardest thing is, like, having no options. We right. all love options. Options is a great thing. Uh, with some stuff, with some stuff. But options is great, especially when it comes to being outside. Mm -hmm. um, is it weird for you not to go to work out, like, not to go in the office? Do you miss, like, coworkers and... You know, eating and ordering out and have you know. Uh -huh. Of course, I mean I, I do miss the human interaction, but my job has made it to where it's almost like we're in office. You know, we we use like Microsoft Teams, um, okay. like a form to communicate. We you know we do chats, we do video chats, we still do meetings. Um, so nothing has really changed at work. Things have gotten better, if you ask me. Okay. And I I went to the office last week because I was training two new girls. Um, and it was different. I mean, I don't mind going once in a while, but I still don't. I'm not ready to, I'm not ready to go. Okay. And other people. Okay. And have a mask on and trying to train people. It's just not the same feeling. And the mask dries my face. I feel like my, sorry, my camera's acting up. My phone. I I need to charge my phone. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on a second. It's so good. What's up, y'all? Thank you for tuning in to Girl Talk today. My girl, she got to charge her phone. This, so this, was, this was last minute, okay? This was last minute from 2 o'clock. But yeah, it was last minute. You know, it was very hard to charge your phone and to get a good um, charger around. I went to the gym today. That's probably why. Huh? Hold on. Can I put it to the side? No. Why not? Because you're you're sideways. But that's how I gotta charge the phone. <laughs> Do anybody have any friends that's really hard to work with sometimes you give them certain directions and they still yeah, wanna tell you? I'll make it work. I'll make it work. Hold that's on. That's what I'm talking about. Um <laughs> Yo, um, if they yes, drop, from two. Um, guys, welcome to Girl Talk. I hope you guys have a little drinky drink. Um, and I also want to say shout out to everybody for tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, because the video I posted has over 1,000 views. So shout out to y'all for spreading the word. I looked, I looked at it today and I was like, wait, what? 
over a thousand views. Um, so thank you for that. Thank you for telling your friends. Thank you for watching it over and over again. If that was you who watched it a couple of times, appreciate you. Um, you know, I also have my YouTube page for friends that don't have YouTube. Um, you can always go on and check it out there if you have friends or family who want to check it out. Uh, was you showing your Clorox? No, I was. This is how I'm holding. I'm, I'm barricading my phone so it doesn't. You know. <laughs> oh, I was like, you know, people get robbed for Clorox around here. <laughs> I know, I know. These these are rare. These were given to that, me. That is a rare, like, a rare, I, I rare. Use, like like three at a time. I'm using like one now. One. Yeah, you got you got to take know, it yeah, easy. Yeah. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Doing too much. Um, let me. So what did you, did you watch the fight? Last um, night? guys. Oh gosh. So I don't even want to tell you my fight story. <laughs> So I should have asked on Girl Talk. So me, my friend ordered the fight, right? But she has just like Wi-Fi TV, everything she has. She just downloaded a whole bunch of apps like everybody has because cable is very expensive. For some of us who, who have it, kudos to you um, in that chat because it's kind of hard. So my friend has it everything. Was it was $50. It was $50. But listen to this, how this $50 we ordered the. We ordered it. I went on the. We night, ordered, they, they call them night, 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 <laughs> night, night, night. Oh, we smoking. What's that? Oh, I thought we were oh, smoking hookah. I'm page. like, oh. <laughs> Sorry, this is bird talk. We chilling today, y'all. This is chill day. We are chilling. We back it. We talking. So my friend ordered it, right? But she didn't have the app. So I went on like the Internet Explorer. I mean, the Internet on the TV, and I ordered it. We couldn't find the app to download it. We, could, we paid for it, paid the $50, but couldn't find the app to actually download it. So the whole time, we trying to do it and find different apps. So basically, um, we missed it. But my friend has sent me some sites, crack, crack, something, something, where you can get into it, and it kept freezing. But we see, we did see Nate Robinson get punched in the face and fall on the floor and go this to was like round. This was like the second round. He wasn't and, even... It was like he was playing basketball on the. <laughs> yo, it was it was. They said he had on the Knicks colors. Like, what did he expect? I'm like, yo, I'm done. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. He was he was going so he was like charging at the guy. Yo, he was charging with his hands down. It was crazy. How you charging with your hands down? That don't make no sense. Like, when he oh. got, when he and everybody went keep saying he's not even a boxer. He's not a boxer. But I'm like, I heard the other dude wasn't a boxer either. Like. They both was just trying. He went to sleep. Like, yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. He was knocked out. But if you see it in slow motion, he really hit him. He hit him. He hit him hard. He got him. It's boxing. His, <laughs> his mouth was bleeding. I'm he like, was, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is a great athlete. We're not taking it away from him. And it's great that he tried. Yeah, you I know what I mean. He, we he can't put nobody down for trying. Um, contest. But nobody wants to get punched in the face. I don't care what nobody yeah, say. No, like, for real, for real. It hurts. I know. <laughs> I don't want it to happen to me. Have you me. Ever got punched in the face? No. I and haven't either. Jinx, knock on glass. And I know that it, were, that it would hurt, obviously. obviously. I don't want to get punched in the face. No, never. No. We're too old for that anyway. Um, funny. Thank you guys for tuning in. I see your comments. Um. But him and his brother trains OD. Nate played with him. Well, it is what it is. Nate got punched. Nate went down. Um, how did you feel about Tyson they, they, and um, who was it? Tyson. I think and and um, and Roy and Jones. Yes, yes. Um, I think Tyson won the fight. I think they should have given it, gave it to Tyson, even though I mean they wasn't really doing much. But um, looking back, at, is, you know, do you the, do the, you the think the fight gets... right? <laughs> Do do you think the they, fight they, is they were doing a lot of hugging, a lot of hugging. I they tied it. Yeah. Um, but Mike looked good out there. Huh? I thought Mike looked good. Yeah, he been training, but he old. You, yeah, he's still he, he's like 53. Yeah. yeah, but he looks, I'm not going to lie, he looks amazing for 53. I'm not going to take that away from him. Yeah, and he lost um, all of that weight. He's probably tired from moving don't, on. Don't, she tired. <laughs> um, just, I said it looked like they just drank a beer, like had a beer, some nachos real quick before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do you think the fight was what people expected? Like, do you think people expected it to no. be like... I want a mic to knock somebody out. Oh, so you want it, you want it, old mic. Yes. 
That's what I was expecting. I mean, I knew it probably wasn't going to happen, but, you know, you always want. So you don't think the fight was up to people's, um, you know, what they thought it was going to be? No. What about that second fight with, with the Spanish guy and the, and the, and the little African guy? I and told so you my service was going in and out. Was here. You, know, you guys were there. All he did was punch him in, in, un, under his belt, whatever that is. And he lost? And that was it. Yeah, he fell. He fell to the ground. You and can't punch under the belt. They had to stop the fight. I don't think it was under the belt. It was under the, the chest. So, wait, he... Oh, like, and he lungs, won the, the, lung the chest because your lungs. <sighs> you took... He, 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 he must have took his... They I know. I was, I was going for the African guy, too. I, I thought he was going to win because he was quiet and he looked like he was disciplined. Nah, nice man. try. That Spanish guy gone. Uh, <laughs> that, that's, that's all about, um, you know, you can look good on the outside, but inside, yeah, um, you might get knocked out. So you think that um, we got what we was, what was going to get from Mike and... Uh, I don't know. I didn't have no expectations, to be honest. Um, and I think in everybody's like head, they needed to be like a a fight when they was in their twenties and their thirties. You know what I mean? Um, we don't. We're not gonna be like you know. And I'm sure a lot of people pay for that fight too. Um, I know. I know. I had trouble getting logging in when um, when it started. When it started, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I, I couldn't log in until like after like maybe five to seven minutes after. Oh wow! They said I have the Teddy service. Is my service messing up? No, not to me. Is my service messing up, guys? Let me know. Uh, I thought I was doing a good job, Denisha. Shout out to Denisha, baby boy. Hi, baby. Hi, Denisha. Congrats on the baby. <laughs> yes, Denisha got a baby. Um, oh, how old is he now? Couple of months. Don't ask Auntie Shanice. Just tell me what. When... A lot of Corona babies. Huh? A lot of quarantine. Love. Well, well, the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what else is there to do during quarantine season? Not season during quarantine. What do you think people are mostly doing? Didn't I just say that? Oh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> um, guys. Do you think people are mostly bumping and grinding right now? Like quarantine um, said, nothing to do. I mean, but there's a lot of in-home stuff. So, like, whatever you can do at home. If some people have, you know, like an extra room for a gym. Okay. Um, I mean, I work from home, so I'm home all the time. I do go to the gym. Okay. You know. Um, somebody said reading. Yes. Um, yes. Starting yes. businesses. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we're making cooking. Mastering oh. my craft. Right. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jazz said cooking. So we got some people learning how to cook. Cooking right. for themselves. Cooking for their family. Cooking for their mans. That's right. Um, that's cool. What do you, so I guess that's mostly people in relationships that's doing that. Do you think right, there was a lot right. of they lying to sex? But <laughs> do y'all think that sex can get like boring? Not boring, but like like you know that's what we're gonna do is have sex all day. Do it get well, boring? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta not, not all day. You gotta mix it up a little bit. Mix it up like how? Sex, do some business, go back. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I said, you got to go in the kitchen. <laughs> you got to cook. Oh, so to make it spicy. <laughs> so you got to you gotta cook in the kitchen, put on a... Uh, then, then, oh, yeah, so we got to gotta explore different areas of our house. Of course, of course. But people with kids can't do that. Because, you know, now the kids is doing remote learning. So you don't but even you have gotta, all the time to get... You got to find, find a way. You got to... Lock that door. If you got kids, you have to have a, a lock on your door, obviously. You yeah, but we, you, you said we get you said we get tired of doing it in the bedroom. Going on. I remember walking into my father when I was younger. You know, please, please. Just Yo, has anybody walking on their parents? <laughs> has anybody walking on their parents? And how did that feel? Because or you are now the parents. Something? I would like be mortified. No, <laughs> I turn the TV up. They lock the door. <laughs> <laughs> I think hearing it also could be like weird. Like nobody wants to hear that. I mean, you know, if it's a friend, it's fine. But your parents, like, oh, no way! No. Like you still do that? I know, mom. You yeah. still? I feel like people still getting that grind on. Like, I think people stop when they die. They got um the pill the guys take. Um, 
it's a sight you never forget. Oh, I think I think my man's right there done walked in on some stuff. But you know, if you have parents that's like married or really like together, live together, <laughs> and you don't have a house, you know, people that live in apartments. Somebody says sorry, you know? kids. <laughs> that's Selena. <laughs> we're not turning up. We're not turning nothing up. We're gonna hear us tonight. <laughs> right, like move out. Get out. Go to your auntie's house. Get out of here. We're busy. <laughs> Right, I'm in a dick right now. I'm full. <laughs> oh, anyway. Right. So, okay, so guys, remember, to, <laughs> remember guys to keep it spicy. Yeah. Um, if you need any help, um, um, DM my girl, L because she <laughs> obviously no. got ideas. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> she got, a, she um, got ideas to how to keep it spicy. Um, you talked about um, working out. I feel like, you know, with quarantining and things like that, people have either gained weight or, you know, maintained their weight and stuff like that. I know that you, I don't know if you want to talk about it, but I'm going to say, I know that you had like a weight loss mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, before Corona. You know, mm -hmm. you had a weight loss. How was that for you? Like, sometimes did you feel like you, you wasn't going to lose it? Like, how, what motivated you to keep going? Like, I, I gotta get this. I gotta get this weight off. Because I, I've been smaller before, so I want it to be what I used to be, and I know that I could, I could get there. So I just kept going, and then one day I was there. Not there, but you know, I felt better. And what did you do? Work out? Did you change your eating habits? Definitely just for, some advice game. for people out there that are struggling with their weight. I know I gained some weight. I feel like I gained weight over the weekend. Um, so what'd you have? Where'd you go? Food. Food. I'm sorry, my screen keeps going dark. That's why I keep. I don't know why. It's not to me. Oh, it's, oh, it's dark to me. Um. So yeah. So what, so, yeah. What I mean, I, I don't. I don't eat junk food. I don't eat chips. And you know, I mean, I do once in a while. I'll have like a little bit of chips here, a little candy. But no, I don't eat candy. I don't okay. Eat, I don't eat junk food. I drink a lot of water. Um. We see the and, skin. And I don't eat. Like before, I used to eat till I was like stuffed. Like, oh, you know, that was so good. But I'm like stuffed, you know? Uh -huh. I don't do that anymore. Even though the food is really good, I, I know how to stop. Because I, I don't want to feel like that. Okay. Um, that stuff feeling is not a good feeling. Yeah, the stomach yeah. be hurting. Like, yeah, see, I need I'm to use the bathroom to clear I this. I want everything. I want to eat it all. Right. You know, no, you know, I've learned. <laughs> right. We learn. We got to learn to take care of ourselves. Yeah. Um, and I know with Corona is hard. I mean, Corona yeah. coming and quarantining and being yeah. in the house um, yeah. and doing it. You get hungry, right. you get thirsty. And, and if you want a snack, try to have something that's low in calories. Like I, I like, I like um, those little ices, those little cherry ices. Those are like a hundred calories. I get them from Stop and Shop. Okay. Those, those coconut fruit bars. That's okay. Too. Stuff like that. Yogurt. You, right. Fruit. And you eat a lot of soups. Every time I was with you, like getting the soup, it doesn't make you full. I'm a soup girl. Like you're yeah. not stuffed. I'm a soup but, girl. Yeah. But you feel good inside. Yeah. Yeah. They said that, especially with um, Corona, they said warm stuff is good for you anyway. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. hot tea. A lot of tea. Soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, the, for those of you who go out, um, definitely drink a lot of tea when you get home. Lemon, ginger, stuff like that. Um, okay. You know, that, that'll definitely strengthen your immune system. Because Corona is not going anywhere. And as you guys can see, everything is being shut down little by little. Yes. Like and we're, we're trying to be here. Place. Of course. And we're trying and to I, stay you know, here. You know that people are, you know, people are going to catch it. People are going to be here. People are going to, you know, not going to be here. So mm -hmm. we have to try to do our part and, you know, do our best to try to stay healthy. Because who knows when this is going to go away. Yes. Um, are you big on self care, or is that something you sometimes forget to do for yourself? I know with work and everything going on and trying to master craft, sometimes we forget to, that we got to take care of ourselves. Sometimes we think um, about other people before we think about ourselves and running around. And I think this year has helped me to be better on my self care. Like I've, I didn't like getting massages before because they were you like didn't too like it. No, they were too rough, but then I found out that I can There's actually different kinds. Walk. Right. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I've been getting massages. I, I always get my nails, my feet done. That's like my self-care. 
Um, I do my own hair. So, you know, I always, you always, you got to look good so you can feel good about yourself. Right. So that's my self care. I read. Um, okay. I like to help. So. I forgot my girl was a hairdresser also. Let's throw that in the Ooh. mix too. My okay. girl will give you a good ass washing set. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I used to do hair many, many years ago. So I yeah. still do my own. Um, huh? I, I, I still do my own hair. I have my hair dry, my rollers at home. Um, is that something that you would like to get back into, or is it just no. something of the past? Something of the past. Okay. It was too. It was too. It was. It was good money. Mm -hmm. um, but it was too tiring. I was in there all day, like from morning to time to close. Um, and it was. You know, my legs hurt. My arms hurt. You know, it was. It was a hands-on job. Yes. You know, Feet job, yeah. standing up. Yeah. Do yeah. you think with Corona, um, with quarantining and the way things are going now, sometimes it's, well, I guess sometimes it's hard. Well, it was hard. People was walking around here looking rough. When the hair salons were shut down, barbershops were shut especially, down. Especially the niggas. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the men, the men. <laughs> looking crazy. Um, do you think doing hair would be something that you would think about if quarantine happens again? To do hair on the side? Yeah, like, no. no. I, you asked me that, no. I said no. But come to your, oh, you don't even want to be in your house, okay. <laughs> I was trying to hook people up. Uh, I'm not about to get... my house, not be, no ma'am, it's corona. Right, outside on the porch. What, no. Put a heater. No. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to help people get their hair done. Um, no. Especially no. where you live out, um, you know, Connecticut, I ain't saying where, but Connecticut, I'm sure there's no Dominican salons out there where they there blow, are. They blow dry your scalp off too, like y'all do in New York. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. I tell you where they are, Connecticut. Because they <laughs> Dominicans will blow dry your scalp off, like girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It is hot. Mm -hmm. We don't have mm -hmm. the same texture here, y'all. Can you take Make it, it easy? Make it straight. Make it and straight. I know it don't grow back as fast. So can you please? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. We know how to stretch. Right. Stretch it out. Yeah. Yeah. Real good at that. <laughs> um. So if you want, guys, if you want, we're gonna get into reading the cards. Um. Like everybody said, blowing your scout off. If there's any questions <laughs> you have for Eliana, um, after this, she'll tell you. You know where you can find her at. Actually, her Instagram page, Ellie. Uh, no, she spells it out for us and everything. Um, because people always get my name wrong, so I just you know make it easier. Okay, just trying to help you out. Okay, not, not Elena, not Ileana, you know. The, is that annoying when people say your name wrong? Um, when they when they say like Elena, that's like, come on, it says Eliana there, so you know. right. but no, I mean, not anymore. Maybe when I was younger, now I'll just correct you. Okay. Oh, because now you're speaking up. You learn how right. to. Absolutely. You're speaking up now. <laughs> yeah, I'll just say no. It's Eliana. That's it. Okay. Um, and guys, the girl talk up. I've been getting a lot of um. People asking me, can they buy one? Maybe by like in two weeks, I order them. Um, by what? You guys can order it. It's going to be fifteen dollars for a cup. Um, it's reusable. Oh, it's see. plastic. Oh. So it doesn't. You know, you can. Let me see. Well, you oh, have a girl like talk, girl talk with me. Nice. So if you want a cup, let me know. I'll be ordering them. And when they get here, I got you. I still have Girl Talk t-shirts also. If you didn't get one, get one. Uh, represent. Um, tell a friend and tell a friend. That's all it's about. Um, so we're going to get into the tarot card reading. Whew. <laughs> they my business. Y'all all can get off live now. <laughs> Right, um, right. Log off. All these 15 people that are on here. Log off. <laughs> um, but my Good girl is time. good. My girl is good. A bunch of cards read because, like you said, it's quarantine and people don't want to go with places. She can do it over the phone. Um, if she, if you want her to, you know what I mean. Um, if anybody needs to help, what what is the biggest like thing that people think about tarot card readers that's not true? Um, that, we're, that we're like witches and we're like doing like a spell or something. That we're doing like some witchcraft or some brujeria or something. Every time that I've told anyone that I read cards, um, they 
you know, think that I'm like a witch or something. <laughs> I think it's freaky. So, you know. So, you're, so you're, you guys are not witches? Um. <laughs> what's, what's your meaning of witch? <laughs> Um, I would say somebody that's intuitive, somebody who can sense things, okay. things like that. I think when most people think of witches, they think of the look, you know? Right, right. But the, the meaning of the, it, and the broom. Yeah, yeah, the flying around the broom. I mean, I believe that if people could fly around, they probably would. So if a witch right. was out here, we'd right. probably see her by now. <laughs> you going to start flying? <laughs> Listen, if I had the power to fly, honey, I would be flying. You'd be so, going. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Um, what, my what is transportation. What is one superpower <laughs> you guys wish you had? Like, what would be that one superpower that you I wish had? I was invisible, invis that, that I could be, like, invisible. I could, I could you wish you could be invisible? Yeah. Okay, you would say so many that. things. So many things. No, the number one thing. The number one. I mean, you know, there's so many things that I could do if I was invisible. Oh, I'll do it, and you can't see me. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do what I want to do. Um, I'm trying to think what will be mine. Um, I wish I could like Matilda. Like I always, ever since Matilda, I want to oh, move into my that. eyes. Like I want the remote just to come to me. I want to be able to control. Let me. Let, yeah, move objects with my mind. Yes, like I want to just right read minds or teleport. It's one. You got to do one. You want to read minds or teleport. Time travel. When do you want to go? What do you want to go back to? Like what time period would people want to go back to? Because I ain't going too far back. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. I ain't trying to end up in a, in a field. Hell no. Right. Oh. <laughs> I might move forward. I forget. They stopped my time travel. All right. So nothing specific that you want to know. You just want to, I'm going to show you what I can see. Sorry. I was yes. A little. We had a question. She, she asked how much do you charge, but we're going to do it first in the different parts and then you can give them prices and things of that nature. You can DM me for that information, but I usually charge like 25 to 30 bucks per reading. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But anything that you'd like to know, you can just send me a chat and I can respond. <laughs> um, so anyway, I've shuffled my cards. Okay. And yeah. the of the <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Put your hands down. My hands. Um, so the, <laughs> the bottom of the deck has the world. Um, so that means that something new is starting for you. There's some, com there's something that's completing. There's, um, you're achieving something. You feel wow. whole. Um, you have some success going on or coming. Okay. This is the energy that I'm getting for you. Okay. And guys, you've seen her shuffle the cards a million times. Wow. Uh, okay. okay. So I have the, like I said, the energy for you is the world. So it looks like you have some, some stuff you're completing. Um, you know, you have some achievement going on, some success. I'm writing this down. Uh huh. So let me see what I see. Um, you have the king of the, the king of cups. So that tells me that you um, are feeling loving and forgiving. Do you feel like you want to forgive someone for something? I feel like I have forgiven everybody. Okay. Well, that's how you're feeling. You're feeling very forgiving and very loving and kind. Um, I just want to say this. I feel like with 2020, it's like you can't hold on to things. Like you said, you yeah. learn how to express things. I, I think I'm working on that, too. But I'm just on the, like, like, if it ain't right, if it don't feel right, if it, been, if it hasn't been feeling right, like, mm -hmm. let it go. You need a break. You know what I mean? Not to do things. But sometimes you just got to take a step back and do yeah. what's good for you. You know what I mean? No matter how that person may feel, not to say you should make somebody feel bad or sad or things like that, but sometimes in life, you have to take a step back. And I don't mean to cut you off. We was, I was talking with my um, friend. We was going for the weekend, and she said, um, you know, sometimes when I'm in a group for too long, you know, we do this weekend stuff, like sometimes I get a little cranky because I just need, like, to be alone for a little while. 
Right. And I was like, girl, you better learn how to go downstairs or go in the bathroom or go in the other room because I do it all the time. Right. You love absolutely. your friends, you love your family, you love your booze, but sometimes you just need quiet. Absolutely. And, and it's okay to yourself. walk away or to get missing, to sit outside for a second and just get it together instead of having an attitude. Like, let's mm -hmm. just, you know, it's okay to separate yourself. And if people don't understand that, mm -hmm. that's, <laughs> that's on them. But okay. Absolutely. You ready? Can I continue? Yeah. Can you show the card so they can see how it looks? Oh, of course. So the, the King of Cups, uh, we don't have to consider, well, you are a king, but you're a queen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, we can reverse the roles. So it, it tells me that you're feeling um, very forgiving. You've been trying to trust. Um, you're being kind, loving. Um, you're, just, you're just working on your emotions, trying to be more emotional. Okay. Uh, the next card that I have is the star. And the star talks about um, wishing for something. There's something that you're wishing. Okay, let me think. Mm -hmm. I feel like or, everybody's wishing for something. Or there's an Aquarius in your life. The star card is the Aquarius card. Mm -hmm. So um, you're either wishing for something or someone is wishing for you. Uh, <laughs> Five, ten, seven, eight, nine, nine. <laughs> <laughs> um, let me see what else I see. You also have the nine of pentacles. And you see this bird. Look at this bird full of life and stars. Um, okay. So this tells me that you are self-sufficient. Um, you're financially independent. You're like a beautiful bird. You're, um, you know, you're growing into a beautiful bird and um, you know, your self-sufficiency and your financial um, goals and your independence is coming together according to this. So that might be what you're wishing. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks like good. It looks good. You also have the Six of Cups. Um, so the six, of, the six of Cups talks about somebody from the past or there's some happy memories that you're thinking about from the past. Or someone from the past is coming to try to reconcile with you. Okay. If that's not it, then um, that's you just thinking about something about the past that made you happy, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, you're thinking about your money a lot. You're mm -hmm. I said, you're thinking about your money a lot. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Um, so you have the page of pentacles, the page of a page. So the, the deck has pages, knights, and kings. Um, a page, I would say, is like a child or someone who's still learning. Um, a knight is someone who's a man, but it's not like, you know, ready to be a man. And then a king, obviously, obviously is a king. So okay. there's there's something in reference to a goal that you have that's going to bring you money that it's still very um, early, but you're learning about it. Something that you're studying, you're learning about, and it looks like it's wow. Gonna you, this is like spooky right now. It's going to bring you good success. Um, I also have the the hermit. The hermit is a Virgo card, so you're thinking a lot. This is you just you know standing there thinking about something. You're You've been alone a lot lately, going within, um, thinking about there's something that you want to launch or, or say or do. Um, let's see. Okay. You have the Page of Swords. So the Page of Swords talks about someone who is spying on you then maybe there's somebody that's spying on you or the page of swords mm -hmm. the page of swords if it's not you um digging into something there's if, if it's not you um investigating something there's somebody that's watching you or like this girl told your... everybody's watching me right maybe going through your social media um there's somebody who's trying to learn something about you okay but they're being immature, obviously, because they're a page. 
you know, a king or, or a knight would be, you know, hey, hey, what's up? You know what I mean? This oh, person okay. Um, so like know, an like, immature way. Right. Like maybe fake page or something or just not saying what they need to say. Okay. And then you have the four of cups. So the four of cups talks about you are bored with your love life. Oof. Um. It's like there's opportunities there, but it's page of swords. Um, there's so anyway, yeah. The, the fourth, the fourth cups talks about uh, missed opportunities and being bored. Um, it looks like maybe someone is Corona often. is boring. We can't travel. We can't do nothing. It looks like maybe you know there 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 are love options out there that are being offered to you, but you're just like, hey, you know. Mm-hmm. Nothing like I'm wow. good. Like yeah, I want to know more about you know more about that person. It's more like eh, whatever you know. Right. That's what I'm getting. Um, any questions? No. So when you read the cards, is is it a certain amount of cards that you're supposed to read? Because how many we read one, two, three. So far, I have eight. Um, but no, I usually there's never an amount. Um, I usually do six. Mm -hmm. Um, but today I just felt like I needed to do more. Okay. Yeah, do you want okay, to do so you do six. No, 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 no. I'm just saying this for the people watching. Mm -hmm. Um, just so they know, like this is right amount of cars and this tells this and well, if if they have a specific question, then I'll put some, you know, pull some cards out to see, you know, if anything comes out. But I'll just pull okay. as many cars as um, I feel like we need to pull according to what we're talking about and you know, stuff like that. Okay. So those nice. were my those were my tarot cards, and it pretty much tells me that, like I said, you're feeling forgiving and you want to trust and you want to work on your emotions. There's something that you're wishing for, or someone is wishing for you. Um, you are being self sufficient. You're you're independent. You're financially stable. Um, okay, how do people get in touch with you for your reading? Just go to her Instagram. It is private. But she said, if you write her, let them know. Yeah, DM her. Yeah, you can just DM me and let me know what, who you are and what you'd like. And then I can, I'll reach back out. Yes. Well, you in the house anyway. <laughs> I am, yes. Yes, I am. You in the house anyway. Um, so those were my tarot cards. I, I also have oracle cards. Um, and what is oracle cards? Oracle cards, these are... Um, these are cards from an, a, a guardian angel. His name is Archangel Michael. This is God's son. And these are just messages from the universe. They have messages. Um, you know, and we'll read them and see what Archangel Michael wants you to know. God, our, my guardian angel. Is there a certain amount of cards that you want me to pull and certain in reference to things? These are just messages. So I'm just going to read them and tell you what they say. This is not oh. me. This is just the message. Okay. How many? Any, okay. any certain amount? Any specific um, amount that you want me to pull out? No. Should I say like a lucky number or something? I don't know. Yeah, me whatever number you want. How many do you want me to pull out so I can tell you what they say? If not, um, I'll pick three. The, the number six came to my head. Okay. You want me Guys, to welcome, the... welcome, welcome to Girl Talk. I'm sorry, L. Welcome to Girl Talk right now. I'm getting my cards read. It's kind of scary, but we got some good things coming out. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being in my business. Um, I love it. I love that you guys are here. Um, remember that we also have Girl Talk pins. We have Girl Talk cups. We have Girl Talk shirts. Um, so if you guys want anything, hit me up. DM me. I can send it to you. I can bring it to you. Um, it's whatever. Making this, making this Girl Talk work out here. What up, Sun Worshipper? Do you want me to pull six cards from the top, or do you want me to put, pull six random cards from the deck? What up? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever say good stuff. <laughs> um, pull it from the top. This, who's the sun worshiper? That's a name. Um, that's my, He's actually coming on Girl Talk in like two weeks. Um, that's my homie. I met him at a bar honestly. And um, I was with my homegirls. He was with his homeboy. 
and we just start talking. Real cool dude. Um, he had introduced. Well, I don't want to tell because I want to say it on Girls Hope. Okay. He came, He had like a bottle and was like, "Girls, I'm not trying to talk to you or anything, but I just have some extra alcohol. Would you like some?" And we was oh, like, "Yeah, that's sketchy, Mr. Sun Worshipper." No, he was, so nice. Nice, he was nice though. He was. He was nice. I did get sick. I did get sick though that day. Uh, but I, it wasn't him. He was very nice, um, and we all started talking. Uh, we traded Instagrams, and he's gonna come on the show. We're gonna talk boy girl talk. What's good? Da, da, da. But right now, me and my car is red. Um, shout out to Eliana for coming on and doing this. Uh, if you want your cars red, make sure you hit her up in her DM. Um, her name is at the top, Eliana. Um, and, <laughs> and she'll let um, you know. Yes. Um. um. <laughs> so like I said do you want me to pull six from the top or do you want me to pull six random ones from the deck let's do the bottom of the deck I didn't say the bottom but okay but the bottom of the deck tells me what the energy is and he wants you to make a commitment okay and it says um, Archangel Michael as the angel of courage and confidence I call upon you to lend me your strength Allow me to commit to myself, my life, and my divine purpose. Please clearly guide me so I can fully open my heart to every experience. So whatever it is that you're thinking about, you need to make a commitment. Yes. Um, funny. Do you want me to pull six from the top or six from the deck? I said six from the top. I have to say it okay. one more time. All right. All right. Oh, so, oh, it sounds like you want me to say six Three. random cards now. Three. I don't know. Four, five, six. Okay. I got six. So let's see. So the first one says... Okay. Hold on, let me put them like this so we can pull them. Welcome to Girl Talk. Make sure, mm -hmm. guys, make sure you like this after we get off, please. Make sure you tell your friends to tell a friend, to tell a friend, to tell a friend. Okay. So the first one says, keep your eyes on your targeted intention. Okay. And it says, thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance and releasing any fears or doubts granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. Oh, so keep okay. your eyes on your dreams, girl. Yeah, you know, I think keep the angels... Dreaming. Yes, Angel is telling me that because I always play around. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, fuck girl talk. I'm not doing it today. And then I'm like, I can't wait to do girl talk. So, you know, I think sometimes when you commit into something, you have those battles. Like, is it worth doing it? And I'm sure people, different entrepreneurs have this feeling. Should I keep going? Should I stop? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. does it really matter? Um, mm -hmm. Does somebody have my name? Like, you know, just different things. Is the competition going, like, you know, am I really supposed to do this? We battle with those thoughts in our heads. But I'm like, just Absolutely. keep going. Absolutely. Yes. The next says, shield yourself. And it says, Archangel Michael, I ask you to protect me, my loved ones, my vehicle, and my home with your powerful shield. Surround us in your purple light, which allows only pure love to penetrate. Please stay with me day and night. Keep my loved ones safe and name those specific people. Um, you should probably light a purple candle. You should go to the store and get a purple candle. Okay. And light it um, for, um, you know, to, to shield yourself and that, that purple light, which allows, like, love to penetrate. Okay. Since you're feeling, since you're feeling so loving, Miss. Shanice. You know me. Red girl talk. Yes. <laughs> you gotta just put yourself in a good space, man. Like, I'm all about energy. Uh-huh. The next one says you're on the right path. Okay. Um, and it says, Archangel Michael, I call upon you now. Thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that I easily understand. Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthy life changes. Yes. So you're on the right path, my friend. And that's funny. That's funny, guys, that I just said what I said. And the next car was follow your path. <laughs> this is not a joke. She didn't put these cars to the side for me. And da -da -da, when they told us that Eliana, we're going to do it for real. Like, you know, we don't have to cheat so it could look good on Instagram. Like, this is straight up. I just want to say that. Like, the way that just happened was kind of gave me goosebumps. Oh. Um, the next one says, you and your loved ones are safe. Um, it says, dear God and Archangel Michael, thank you for watching over me and my loved ones. Name those specific individuals. Please help me feel secure and at peace and fill me with faith so that I can focus on my priorities and enjoy a healthful, happy life. 
Okay. So you and your loved ones are safe. That's a good card. Boo, you hear that? We say. We say. <laughs> Um, the last two, the last, this one says a favorable outcome. Um, and it says, thank you for the beautiful outcome to this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and have faith. So whatever yes. outcome um, you're thinking about, it might be favorable. And the last one says, be gentle with yourself. Shanice. Oh, God. Okay. Um, and it says, Archangel Michael. Please guide me in treating myself with gentle, nurturing love and everything I think, speak, and do. Help me know that I deserve this compassion. I release any feelings of guilt to you so that I may experience lasting inner peace. Wow. So keep your eyes on the targeted intention. You're on the right path. You and your loved ones are safe. Shield yourself, a favorable outcome, and be gentle with yourself. I wrote everything. That, guys, I was looking down because I was writing it down. Um, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for that. I feel like sometimes we need a little, like, yes, Shanice, you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path. Um, Absolutely. That push. That push, which feels good. And I know everybody's like, I'm in, Yes. Everybody's like, I'm independent. I, can, I don't need a push. But as yeah. humans... You want to hear, like, you're doing a good job or, mm -hmm. you know, like, oh, that was, you know, like, good. You're on the right path. Um, people ask if they need it. And maybe you don't, but it, it, it helps you. It makes you feel better. I don't care what nobody say. Like, somebody telling you pretty, somebody telling you your shoes look nice. Nice things make a person smile. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. No matter who you are. Like, you got to do a little grin. Absolutely. Uh, watch like mom on know? the treadmill. Shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bona Bon Appetit. X C P. Yeah. <laughs> um, I also so those were messages from Archangel Michael, which like I said, he's a guardian angel. Mm -hmm. He's God's son, one of God's children, many children. Um I also have um love oh jeez cards. If you'd like to know about love, I can pull some. If not No, we um, can keep it going. Okay. How many would you like me to pull? business on here. How many would you like me to pull? One, two, three. <laughs> From the top or around? I don't know. Like, I'm like a nervous person. Like, it's like, you know, like, I don't know. Do you want me to pull them from the top or random? Random. Three, you said? Yeah, um... Uh... How much how much do we need to know? No, I'm asking. I want you to tell me. I want your energy to be on here. Oh. My energy is my energy is here. Everybody, girl talk, take a drink. So the first one says getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. The bottom says, as you reveal your innermost self to each other, your bond deepens. So being so expressive. You, have to, you guys have to, yeah, learn how to express yourself so that you can deepen that bond. Um, and in reference to getting to know each other better. Um, I totally believe that um, you cannot have a relationship if there's no communication. Um, I think in relationships, communication is the key. Um, you have to express how you feel and not let it be five years from now. And now you're finally saying that you've been doing this the whole time and it's been getting on my nerves. Because mm -hmm. um, then some... I feel like in relationships, people sometimes think that the other person knows how they feel or what they're thinking or stuff like that. And they really sometimes really don't know. Mm -hmm. um, I had to learn that. Like, sometimes you expect people to know your thoughts when they really don't. Like, I had no idea you felt like that. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. everybody that's in relationships or trying to build something, just be expressive and say how you feel. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The next one says soulmate. Uh huh. And it says, yes, this is your soulmate. Oh! <laughs> nah, <laughs> I'm looking at my girlfriend right now. <laughs> I just want to get married in your white dress. We ain't no younger, so we might as well do it. Nah. <laughs> um, and then the last, <laughs> the last one says, let your friends help you. Okay. The, the message is ask for and accept support from others. Okay. 
So I'm referenced to love, get to know each other. And, um, you know, in order to deepen that bond, you have to reveal your most inner selves to each other, not just you, but, you know, them as well. Um, and then soulmate. So in reference to whoever you're thinking about, yes, this is your soulmate. Um, and then the last one says, let's let your friends help you. So if you have friends that you confide in in reference to love, talk to them about it and see if you can get their opinion. That's what I think. That's what I take from that card. Okay. Okay, Al. Come through All with the right. message. Okay. With the message. <laughs> no, I'm not a witch, but I can do witchy. Um, um, I'm not a witch. I'm just reading what the card right. is telling me. I'm just She's not a witch. She's my friend. I'm a I would, witch. I would know. Um, <laughs> no, thank you, seriously, for coming on and reading the Anytime. cards. I know Anytime this is something that you were shy to do. No one but... knows. Not many people know that I'm a tarot card reader, just because I'm new at it. And it's, yes. not, just, it's not something that you broadcast, like, you know, like people make cakes and, yeah. you know decorate parties you know what i mean like right. that's not something like that that you know it's not similar to that so it's hard to um yeah no you know. that's that's that's, people, that's some people frown upon that anyway too you know they always think negative when it comes to tarot and stuff like that i think people frown frown upon anything you yeah. know what i mean so even with your tarot card reading i hope that you continue to study your craft because honestly you hit some great spots, and I feel like that from day one, I feel, I think I was like one of your, I think besides your sister, I was like one of the first people that you read, and I'm like, yo, you saying some stuff right now for your first day, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, shout out to you. I always have faith in you, and I know you can do it, and I know you're going to be a great tarot card reader, reader, great, you're a great person anyway. Shout out to Virgos. Um, yeah, okay, crazy. Ew, but, Virgos! But it's sad Virgos. season. But it's sad season. <laughs> but it's sad season, yes. So, yes. I love my Sagittarius's. Yes. We get along very well. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. We have a lot in common. We have a lot in common. Yeah, we do. Um, except for that, you know, Virgos, yeah, we're not as crazy as Virgos, but, you know. What do you mean? <laughs> I think Sagittarius's are crazier than Virgos. Ha! I, I would say, I would say, not let's not say crazy. I would say that you guys are more fiery. Well, you, we're a fire sign and we're earth. So, um, so yes. we have earth, fire, um, water, and what did I say? And earth, fire, water. It's more? That? Yeah, there's four. Earth? Earth, fire, water, fire. and what else? I can't think right now. Air. Anyway, air. Yeah, you're fire. I'm earth. Air. Um, air, yeah, air. So... Fire is Sagittarius, Leo's, Aries, and, and Aries. Those are fire signs. Air signs are Libra, Gemini, and Aquariuses. Water signs are no Aquarius is water. Aquarius, Aquarius is a water. Yeah, they air no, they Aquari the, um... Aquarius, Aquarius is water. Cancer. I love Aquarius it. is water. It's air? Virgo, Virgo oh, Aquarius is air. Yes. You're confusing me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Earth Earth is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorns. Fire is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Uh-huh. Cancers, Gemini. No. We Cancer, got somebody in here Scorpio. trying to defend Aquarius. Can Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces are water signs. How do we feel about Aquariuses? <laughs> oh, Mr. Sun Worshipper, the one that got you sick with the drink. Oh, He's right. an Aquarius. <laughs> Aqua. <laughs> you know, he had on a whole, he had on king, everything, king pants, king shirt. We thought he was a Leo. He wasn't even He's a Leo. He's an Aquarius. Aquarius. <laughs> Aquarius. I have, my, my sister's an Aquarius. My, uh, my my good friend, Adrian, she's an Aquarius. Um, so I get along with Aquariuses. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I think we have no, an inside joke about very, that. Very, no, we were saying that we're similar, but yeah, you're fire. I'm earth. Um, I would say you're more crazy. You're more fiery. We know how to contain our fire. Contain our fire. Because y'all go missing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Virgos go missing. Yeah. Well, no, we we like to go within when things are not going right, so that we can get our thoughts together and you know be able to think. We we're thinkers. Um, okay. So if my, well, he said Aquarius is, is the woman bearing the pitcher of water. 
Um, but okay. Um, um, is there anything else you guys want to talk about? We like 17 minutes over, um, which is all good. Um, thank you for doing my cards. You're guys, welcome. if you want your cards read by Eliana, um, go onto her page, um, DM her, let her know, and she'll do her thing. Um, anything you'd like to say, Elle? No, thank you for having me. Thank you nice. for speaking. Thank you for nervous. being on the show. You're welcome. If Virgo's ignore game is bomb. <laughs> That's what Jazz that? said. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm we late. Know how to ignore how about we... Sagittarius is the best sign, Mr. Handsome. You don't even got to ask that question. A Sag is like the best sign of the zodiac. My boo is a Sagittarius. Who don't like Sages? <laughs> if you don't like Sages, you don't like yourself. You have a self. You got to go within first if you don't like Yeah, others. Sagittarius is are, are, are cool. They like to have fun. Um, you just got to have like, tough skin. Yeah. Because yeah, the jokes is on point. Yeah, and we are too. We we have we, you gotta have tough skin to be with a Virgo because we we tell it like it is. I see everybody rolling their eyes because nobody wants to talk about Capricorns. Um, <laughs> I see some Capricorns. School. Capricorns is about their money. They definitely Capricorns always have like multiple jobs, multiple businesses, multiple sources of income. That's why all I got one. That I know. Um, definitely money makers. They will kick you doing. So they also crazy too. My, is my there any like non crazy signs out there? Like my, my cousin is a Libra. I love my cousin. Libras, I don't Libras. My mom is a Libra. I know a couple she of Libras. The Libras be like lying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Showing off. Libras like to show off. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah we got some Scorpios like in the building. Scorpios are a little crazy. I've dated a Scorpio Scorpios are very before. stinky. In their own sneaky way. Or sneaky? sneaky. Sneaky. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say, what? Yeah, Scorpios are. I've dated a Scorpio before. Um, oh, they're crazy. What did say? Aries? I like Aries, but... I like Aries. Aries are the smartest. Aries are very Aries are smart. the smartest, but Aries they're are... very smart. Yeah. Aries think they, but they, they think they smart and they think they, they know they know everything. So I guess it gets a little annoying. Like, But it, Aries are smart. You know, very seldom uh, Aries would tell you something, you know. That Aries could be know. smart in the books, but not no common sense. Yeah. <laughs> Aries want to fight all the time. They're right. Like, you know, Aries yeah, are aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Aries. I, I get along with Aries. What else? Who else? Um, who else, y'all? We said Pisces. Libra, who, somebody said Libras are liars. Libras are liars. But Libras, um, I learned that they don't even know they're lying. Like, I think they really believe that in their heads. Dangerous. Oh, somebody said they can't stand Aries. He must have got I hurt know, by Aries. I know that's right. Who hurt you, boo? Right. He got hurt. <laughs> what she do to you? You want, you want us to fight her? <laughs> um, what else? Um, so we, we said, uh, what else? Uh, cancers. I dated a cancer. Do you like cancers? Um, They're too emotional for me. Very emotional, but very loving. Very smart, too. Smart. Cancers are smart. They like to communicate. Yes. They like but to whether they yelling, crying, or screaming, yeah, they like yeah, to communicate. Yeah. We don't know what way they're going to communicate in. Yeah. yeah but they're going to yeah, communicate. Yeah, right. That is true. Yeah. You don't know if they're going to start yelling or they're going to just communicate, but they're going to communicate. They gonna, <laughs> you might get something uh, thrown at you, yeah, but they're going to communicate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Me and Elle, we always talk about the zodiacs. Um, our moon signs very are each other's signs. So yeah, we yeah. really get along very well. We um, yeah. So Gemini, oh God, Geminis are the best of both worlds. Gemini is... You know, I get along with Geminis, but I, but Geminis have a bad rap because yeah, just, you know, you, Gemini be like, I was here last night. And then you tell them, oh, you said you was here last night. I didn't say that. And if I did, why you in my business? What's going on there? <laughs> Um, yeah, Geminis, I like them, but they're crazy. Geminis is not people I can hang around every single day. Yeah, yeah. They're yeah. too unstable for a Sagittarius. Unstable. <laughs> they're too unstable. <laughs> who are, who any, Geminis in the, any Geminis in the building? Y'all want to defend yourselves? <laughs> what well, she said, I'm going to call you when I start dating again. Yeah, let Long me know their sign, and I'll let you know if y'all go good together before you waste <laughs> your time. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. 
Um, yeah, I'll let you know what I see. If you want to know something, you don't even have to tell me what, you, what you're looking for. I'll let you know what the cards are telling me. Did we say Aquarius? Yeah, we said they're crazy. <laughs> they're, they're, they're emotional too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My sister's an Aquarius. My friend Adrian, she's an Aquarius. And stay before always, the world, they said. I, I, I always have to tell her to like, you know, no, no, don't say that. You can't say it like that. You got to say it like this. Right. You, know? you got to be careful how you yeah. talk to an Aquarius. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very, but, but they, they mean well. They do. So They're good people. A little crazy, but they mean well. <laughs> right. But don't we all? Don't we all have a little crazy in us? Not me. I'm regular. Oops. Oh, okay. Regular, <laughs> oh. regular, regular. Okay. Yo, for somebody that was scared to talk at first, my girl is sipping. Got the shirt. <laughs> all right, we're done. Shanice, I love girls. We finished. <laughs> Shanice, invite me again. When you gonna do it again, Shanice? Right. <laughs> I got more cards to read. They cry too much. Who cried too much? Um, that's Who dumb that? funny. But guys, thank you for tuning in to Girl Talk today. L, we had so much fun. Um, thank you for reading my cards. You're thank welcome. you for letting me know I'm not wasting my time with my boo. Um, no, <laughs> According to the cards, you're not. I've been through that. Um, but shout out to everybody for tuning in, for staying in. I know we've been here for a minute. You guys stayed down. Hope we so, made this worth your while. Hope we made it worth your while. Hope you was entertained. Hope you had fun. Um, hope you learned something. Hit my girl up if you want your cards read. I know it's quarantining, so you don't want to go out. You could do it over the phone. Happy you holidays, everybody. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, happy Thanksgiving. Do we, why don't we say Happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving. Why? Yeah. What do you want to say? I'm just saying. Was it what so it happy when it was getting killed? <laughs> like, I think Thanksgiving is a weird That's holiday in my brain. I know. But we can talk about that later. Um, so what do you want to say? Un unhappy, unhappy Thanksgiving? Yeah, like, uh, not unhappy, but it's weird. He came well, and killed. Well, you're, you're, you're being thankful for what's going on right now, not what happened. Okay. I mean, of course, we can discuss that, but Thanksgiving is about now. No? Being thankful. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, and we're thankful. So let's eat together and be thankful. Yes, absolutely. It's not about Christopher. No, no. It's not about Cece. <laughs> <laughs> all right, oh, L, bye. Because um, we'll talk all day. Right. Um, guys, make sure that you like this page. Make this um, tell a friend to tell a friend to watch it. Um, let them know that she's legit. Let, her, let them see how she was reading my cards. Um, and this was not, this is, this was not scripted. This was straight up. You've seen her picking the cars out. You heard her shuffling. Um, she's real and she's great at what she do. Shout I'm out to you. Huh? I'm not a robot. She's not a robot. Um, <laughs> check everywhere you see a hydrant. I hate when they ask me that. Um, what? you know, when they're like, I'm not a robot. And they're like, check all the Right, 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 right. Check, check all, all the hydrants. And the, and the trees. And, the and I always mess up. I'm retarded. Um, but guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for staying on. Um, everybody have a good work week. We will be back on Sunday um, live. I'll let you know who's coming on. I already have a plan. I just don't want to tell y'all yet. Um, and thank you for staying tuned to us. Um, make sure you like it and tell a friend to tell a friend. Remember, I have cups, pens, t-shirts. Let me know what you need. I got you. What up? Carmina, Odina. Um, all right, El, thank you. Good night, boo. Bye, Good everybody. Night. Good night, y'all. Ah.